I'm going to quickly cut across to our guest joining us, Mohan Krishna, BJP spokesperson. We also have Rajesh Kalapa, Congress spokesperson, both joining us from Karnataka on this issue. Uh, let me start with Mohan. Mr. Mohan, here your government has given a 15-day ultimatum. Have you come under pressure from the right-wing Hindu group, Sri Ram Sene? Is Mutalik's word echoing that you are really finally buckled? Good evening, Nabila. Absolutely no. It is not under pressure. We have, uh, I mean, the notice has been given. It is absolutely ad adhering the Supreme Court norms, where it was not done earlier. We are, since it has become an issue, the people should not take law into their hands, any miscreants for that matter, for that to clear off that, to see that the government has got all the statistics and the issues will not be diverted to other communal issues. For that matter, we have uh, government under uh, Mr. Bomai has issued a notice to all the, I mean, ultimatum to the, all right, the... Right, but why was this not done? It, this could have been easily done earlier. Did you have to wait for a Hindu right-wing group to come and create chaos? Because Sri Ram Sene, we know very well, do not have a clean image. They've assaulted women in Mangaluru. They're the moral, moral police who, are, many of them have been booked with criminal charges. This is the Sri Ram Sene who's dared the Bombay government to say, if you have guts, show us how you can crack down. It is not because of Pramod Mutalik's words or uh, what uh, the other people's words or whatever may be. Well, but, but Pramod, exactly. Pramod Mutalik carried, launched a protest on Monday. Baswaraj Bomai issues the notice on Tuesday. This was decided earlier, but only the things have happened yesterday. That's all. Uh, it is uh, today. It, I mean, there is nothing. Uh, I mean, you need not have to read between the lines here, Nabila. The, it is very clear to adhere to the Supreme Court norms. We have not we have not made any new mandatory rules, or we have not brought in any new rules for that matter. It is whatever is the Supreme Court, the decibels they have put up. Well, I mean, you know, right, we get your point, we, we know what, where you're coming right. from, and this is exactly my point to Brijesh Kalapa. You know, what the uh, Karnataka BJP government is doing is really uh, coming from a legal standpoint. They should have done this earlier. In fact, you should have done it earlier. Uh, Congress has been in power in Karnataka more than what the BJP has. Uh, for, for the amount of years that you all have governed the state, was there never a point that you all thought to implement Supreme Court's guidelines strictly? Was that appeasement politics that you were playing? The first is that insofar as the year is concerned, 2005-2006, uh, we didn't have our government and Mr. Dharam Singh had just demitted office. And uh, in 2006, as you know, it was a government in which uh, Mr. Kumaraswamy was headed, uh, heading the government along with the BJP. So uh, I am really not very familiar with the facts. But in any event, the BJP came back to power in 2008. So 2006 to uh, 2008. Was Kumaraswamy and then has barely completed a term. You have completed a full term. No, no, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying that 2006 to 2008 was Kumaraswamy. No, I mean, not, not going back to history. Not my ahead. point is, my point is, Mr. Kalapa, you've been in power in Karnataka for way too long for you not to have acted on the Supreme Court's ruling. No, no, I'm, I'm only, I'm only giving you the, uh, the. Uh, no, we get uh, the, it. We get, yeah. we get the statistics. Yeah. So, so if, if, if somebody is trying to blame us. If, if they're trying to blame us, I'm only saying that they're equally to blame. This, this is one thing. Two is that, as you know, this is not an issue. It's not a real issue before the people, right? Just like the hijab was not an issue before the people, just like halal or jatka was not an issue before the people, just like whether Muslim, uh, you know, sellers could sell their wares outside temples could not be an issue. Just like the present issue is not even an issue before the people, right? But who is creating this issue? These are right wing groups. Whom are they affiliated to? They are affiliated to the BJP. And why are they doing it? Because the BJP is running with the hares and hunting with the hounds. It's very clear. Why are they doing it? Because they have nothing to show for in terms of uh, performance. And therefore, they'll be facing an election in the, the next uh, but why, why is year. The Congress, why is the Congress not opposing this vehemently? Why is there such a soft stance taken by the party? Are you worried of, uh, of uh, upsetting your uh, Hindu vote base? No, no, there's no question of upsetting anybody's vote base. Ultimately, it's a question of decibel, right? And everybody is affected by the decibels. If, some, if there's a huge noise, then no sensible person can say, no, I'm going to live with it or because I like the, it. Uh, the, and there is noise. Loudspeakers anywhere. Nobody wants to hear loudspeakers right at your, uh, right at your ear. And if exactly, you know, exactly what I'm saying. And in many areas, so it, uh, 
there are loudspeakers that are much higher than the decibel levels. Y'all should have regulated it. Now that the BJP is doing, you call this communal politics could be. No, no, I'm not, we are not calling it communal politics. If you look at the pattern, right? Uh, issue after issue after issue after issue appears to be only targeting one community. Right.